flagship specifications for half the price. For people who never have been in touch with Xiaomi devices, this statement will be hard to believe. But in other corner, I have been in touch with Xiaomi devices and I really had faith that they can pull it off. I remember when I was watching presentation of Xiaomi Mi 5, I had that glare in the eye. And now, my dear watchers, it is here. My review of Xiaomi Mi 5 and I hope you will enjoy it watching as I was enjoyed reviewing it. So, let's go. Xiaomi Mi 5 is available in three editions. For purpose of this video, I will name them Standard Edition, Standard Plus Edition and Pro Edition. Let's introduce you to Standard Edition, which is present in this review. It is a high-end flagship device. Chipset inside is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 820. CPU is a quad-core with two cores working on 1.8 GHz and other two working on 1.36 GHz. Graphic chip is Adreno 530. It is important to note that Snapdragon 820 is this year top-notch performer in mobile segment. Available RAM is 3GB with 32GB of storage which is not expendable. On top of all this we have Android 6 Marshmallow with Mi UI 7. Standard Edition Plus have a bit higher clock rates for cores so in plus version you get two cores working on 2.15 GHz and other two on 1.6 GHz. Also you get 3 GB of RAM and 64 GB of internal storage. Pro version have same chipset and clock speeds as plus version, but it gets 4 GB of RAM and 128 GB of internal storage and exclusive ceramic back. Package is standard what you see from Xiaomi. White box with minimal content. Inside there is a wall charger, USB Type-C cable, some paperwork and SIM tray opening pin. When you look the phone from front side, it is definitely a beauty. In a specific way, stylish and elegant. It is hard to not like it. On top part we see a Mi logo with standard group of sensors, proximity and ambient light. Of course there is a in-call speakerphone which is excellent. LED notification light is pleasant to see always. Front facing camera is 4 ultra pixels. Images are really pleasant with good color representation and enough details. Low light selfies are also pretty good. A front facing camera video test, so you can judge uh, video quality by yourself. On the bottom, it is quite uh, interesting. Two capacitive touch buttons with LED backlight and in middle hardware home button which is also a fingerprint scanner. Capacitive buttons are pleasant to use and also there is an option to change what they do by default. Fingerprint scanner design philosophy is stolen from Galaxy lineup. I must admit I'm not a huge fan of it. I like more a circular design especially when it is on the back of the device. Putting that on the side, a fingerprint sensor performs excellent. It is on pair with iPhone 6s and in a lot of situations faster, which is pretty impressive. When you look at those narrow bezels, it just takes breath from you. 5.15 inches screen with full HD resolution, translated to 428 ppi pixel density. Just looking at device from the front, it will scream back to you. Take me and hold me. Screen performs excellent. Color representation, contrast and brightness are also excellent. 
No need to tell that viewing angles are also pretty good. Outdoor screen performance is not in pair with flagship AMOLED displays, but it is pretty good and usable in direct sunlight. On the bottom there is a USB Type-C port for charging and synchronization and two grills. Right one is hiding a speakerphone, which is mono but loud, clear and crisp. Really performs excellent. Under left one there is a microphone. Two antenna lines are present to see. On the top of device there is a 3.5mm audio output jack. In my testings sound quality proven to be excellent. It is loud enough and definitely on good side. There is also a second microphone for noise cancellation. Xiaomi special here is a infrared blaster, which like always performs excellent. By downloading any infrared remote app from the store, you can control your household devices from your phone. Pretty neat. Looking at left hand side we can see just a SIM tray slot which can accept uh, two nano SIM cards. On the right hand side there are a sleep, wake and volume control buttons. They aren't loose or in any way uncomfortable to press. Overall feel is excellent. Before we look at the back I want to note that frame is completely made of metal. It looks and feels excellent with no arguing about that. Back side is story for itself. Fully made of glass and giving that special touch to the device. Just looking at it you must admit that it looks beautiful. On the top part we see excellent 16 megapixel f2 camera with face detection autofocus and 4 axis optical image stabilization. Dual tone LED is also present. Camera performance is pleasant tale to tell. Pictures are full of details, pleasant colors, good white balance. Just look at uh, samples, they look excellent. Macro photos are stunning. Also with camera f2 aperture it is easy to create a shallow depth of field. It is easy to say that in daylight camera can compete with the best mobile cameras on the market. But in other side low light is not that good. It's light year away from bad but still there is visible loss of details and noise is present all around. Video recording is good. It is same case like for still images. In daylight it is excellent. Especially if you can turn on a 4K mode, which have excellent bitrate and a lot of details. 4 axis stabilization is performing excellent overall, and there is nothing bad to say about that. Android 6 Marshmallow experience on Xiaomi Mi 5 is something that is hard to transfer to a person who didn't have touch with it. It is best of two worlds, design philosophy of iOS and flexibility of Android. It is fluid and constant, performing excellent in any possible way. Real pleasure to use it. Many ways to customize user experience with many implemented options in MIUI 7, which don't stop there. Teams are present and in few clicks you can change overall look of your UI. From 3GB of RAM on boot up you have around 1.5GB free. Multitasking is fast and snappy. I really never had a problem using it. Benchmark results in both N22 and Geekbench are impressive. N22 is giving around 114,000 and Geekbench scores are also great. All this is nothing which is not expected from a Snapdragon 820. Keep in mind that this version is with a bit lower core clocks. It is one of the best chipset on the market this year. If you love playing games on your phone, welcome to the dream. Buttery smooth gameplay is only thing that you can get 
everything I tried worked perfectly smooth. Gaming is really joy on Mi 5. And I want to mention that there weren't any unpleasant heat while playing games. All this is in general impressive, but what about battery life? Well, it is good, not a record breaker, but in general you can get a full day of heavy usage with no problems. With no gaming, two days is easy thing to get. How to write conclusion for something like this? Do you know how I experienced Xiaomi Mi 5? Best from multiple worlds in one place. It is excellent device. Excellent is a weak word, but well, in hands it just feel exotic. Metal frame, back made of glass, those are multiple premium feelings which you can feel. If you watched my Note 3 Pro review, well, multiple all that by 3, at least. Mi 5 is a tech boy dream. For incredible low amount of money, for this class of hardware and build you get nearly the best, if not the best. I caught myself multiple times to just watch it. From angles when light is breaking down on it, you can see all those details. It is impressive device, like it's impressive performance. It is no brainer. If you like it, there is absolutely zero reasons not to buy. Simple as that. I bought Xiaomi Mi 5 from Gearbest. There are links in the description so you can check it out. In the end of this review, I really hope you enjoyed watching. Thumbs up and subscribe if you like video. And until next time, see ya.